Hey, this is Zach Wish for Premier Guitar, and today we're taking a look at the new Kim Thiel Signature Polera from Guild. If you're not familiar, Kim Thiel is the iconic lead guitar player of Soundgarden and is one of the more unique and innovative players in the genre. As part of Guild's 70th anniversary, they're introducing this signature model that is based on two of Kim's iconic guitars, his 1978 S100 Polera and his go-to live guitar, which was a white and gold model that he used a bunch in the early 90s. The Polera has a mahogany body and neck, as well as a bound rosewood fretboard with perloid block inlays, and just comes together as a really kind of solid and weighty feeling guitar, and it lends itself really well to those heavier riffs. It's got the old school 70s Guild headstock with Grover original Rotomatic tuners. And to signify the fact that it's a signature guitar, there's a Soundgarden King Animal truss rod cover and a Bad Motorfinger control cavity cover on the back. I always tend to like when signature model guitars are a bit more on the subtle side and don't really scream the fact that it's a signature model. So I think this is a cool way to give the nod to Kim and Soundgarden, but still keep that kind of classy Guild look. The neck has a pretty comfy D-shaped profile that is a bit on the chunkier side, but it's by no means your 50s baseball bat neck, and it still feels really fast to get around on, and I found myself getting used to it within just a couple of minutes. <laughs> The pickups are Guild's HB1 humbuckers that also have a phase switch with them. This allows you to flip the phase of the pickups while in the middle position, and it gives you that thin, quacky, hollow kind of tone. Flipping the phase can be a really cool way to accentuate part of a song or a riff, or use it as like a lo-fi kind of effect.
To me, these humbuckers have a ton of clarity to them. The bridge pickup really cuts through with gain and the neck pickup also has that additional top end, which on this scale length, humbuckers can often get kind of wooly and dark sounding, but not on this guitar. I really like that additional top end brightness and there's like a smooth pronounced mid range to them as well. Another cool, unique feature of the Polera is the space between the tailpiece and the bridge. It's a bit larger than your typical SG style guitar. And I actually think it's a big part of Kim's playing is being able to play behind the bridge and get that kind of noisy, dissonant resonance that you can use in like intros or parts of riffs and things like that. So it's just cool to have that little extra bit of space there. So all in all, this is a super solid guitar and it's really cool to see this model and body shape coming back around that's just a bit more off the beaten path. 
Kim Thiel is personally a huge inspiration of mine, and it's great to see Guild celebrating his legacy. This import model of the Kim Thiel Polera is available for $8.99, and for more info, visit guildguitars.com. This is Zach Wish for Premier Guitar. Thanks so much for checking out the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.